Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi, so excited. You guys are up and pumping. <laughs> Great energy. Awesome. Happy show day. Thanks. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to watch it. Can you believe it's here? I can't. I can't do it so fast. Oh, my God. I'm like, it's over. Let's do it again. I know. It's like you plan and plan and plan, and then it's over in five minutes. Like five days ago, what? We were just in Paris uh, shooting. And now, today, we're going to get to watch it. Any watch party plans? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's big time. <laughs> we have our little, like celebration that all every year all the girls and all the people that work into the show we get together and then we watch it we celebrate awesome yeah. big party big i think party. a lot of um people are you know coming together and having big parties to watch the show are you of course <laughs> are you guys who's come <laughs> on yeah <laughs> um why do you think it's become such a phenomenon for women and people to come together and kind of congregate to watch this big spectacle every year? I do believe that uh, the Victoria's Secret uh, fashion show became this uh, part of the Christmas culture, really. Mm -hmm. And over 180 countries today will be watching the Victoria's Secret show. And um, also the example that we set for women is such a empower, we, we empower women. It's more than like 50 girls, 52, yeah, we 51. Have 51 girls in the show and we all come from different parts of the world and we all have one dream that is to be in the Victoria's Secret fashion show and all of us work really, really hard all year long to get a spot in that show. Yeah, can you talk a little bit more about that? You know, um, it is this big empowering moment and women are, are kind of like looking up to you. What do you think it is that's so empowering about the group? Well, to start with the girls, we come from all over the world. The message there, it means that we embrace women no matter where you are from, how old you are, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, that's the message and your body shape and being in individuals. And during the fashion show, we have opportunity to show our own personality, who we are, yeah, you know, and absolutely. that's just embracing yourself, really. Yeah. That's the message that we try to send. There. It takes a lot of confidence for uh, young women uh, to be in lingerie in front of millions of people. Oh, yeah. and I get nervous. <laughs> I get so nervous. <laughs> Do you still get nervous after all, yeah. after all this time? Yeah. Yes. Oh, this year, by the way, was my number 16. I know. Can we just Leanna give Adrian a round of applause Leanna for that 16 years? She's been there also for a few. <laughs> I'm not only the, the only yeah, one not here. Even, not even close to you. <laughs> well, you, 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 excuse me. You are on your way. Okay. Oh, I think there. any yeah. amount of times is super impressive and, and amazing. But um, what has changed? I mean, obviously, a lot of things have changed over the past 16 times that you've been in the show, or even maybe the past four times. What has kind of evolved, and what are some of the things that may have stayed the same? Oh, I remember my first fashion show was 1999, and it was just like a regular runaway. Maybe we went like for like no Twitter, uh, no, no Instagram, no, 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 <laughs> no social media at all. Okay, no performance like musicians like walking the runaway with us. Um, now we do travel the world. This year we were filming in Paris, so it's amazing. We closed this beautiful palace. I mean, I cannot explain what it was like. The roof was all in glass and mm. just like probably like over 100 years old. Right. It was so, so beautiful. And as soon as you walked in the Grand Palais, you really can feel how grand, like how grandiose it is, like mm -hmm. how insanely powerful it is to be inside of that venue. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, you've been in New York, you were in London. Um, how is Paris? I know the show was in Cannes many years ago, but... What was the vi how was the vibe different being in, in Paris? Oh my God. It was the amazing. People were incredible in the audience. The, our first show, everyone get off the runway and they're like, oh my God, the people there are going wild for us. It's like <laughs> we're in a rock concert. For me, it was definitely one of my favorite shows I've ever been on. The energy was it's incredible. Uh, and like everybody asks, like us usually, and to s they want to know if us the girls like we get along and this year like the energy between us it was awesome we were really working as a team everybody like enjoying our time and uh, what does that I look like when you're all 
kind of working together. Obviously, it's hectic. It's a huge party backstage. I went backstage for the New York one last year, and I was like, this is the most fun I've ever had backstage any event anywhere. Um, but what, um, what does it mean to be working together as a team and kind of like helping each other out backstage? It does. It helps with their energy, you know, because it's not, it, it's uh, the show, it's a teamwork. You know, it's not, it doesn't happen as an individual. So for us to be successful, we need to get in the mood and we work together, you know? So you, whoever is watching is gonna feel that energy, that positivity through us. Right. And we all like work together all year long, especially as angels. And we really, really become friends with each other. So it's like you're doing this most incredible fashion show and you're doing it among friends. Yeah, absolutely. So the like energy, you could really see it. I think a lot of people might be interested to know. I mean, obviously, it's when you're watching on television, it's this huge, it's a huge production, and you know, you're kind of sitting on your couch and you're comfortable and you're getting cozy, and it's there's a commercial break and get up and go to the bathroom. What is the difference between seeing it on television and walking it in real life? I don't know if you guys know, <laughs> but when we, um, this show actually we filmed two two times, so there's two fashion shows happening um, right after the same one after day. another. No, we have a, a break, like three hours break in okay. between. And usually happens in the evening and we start our day very early and yeah. we do like a lot of media interviews because everybody wants to know how everything, all these get together. <laughs> this year we had over 200 TV crews backstage with us. So you guys are just ready to be here, right? <laughs> and uh, so many cameras backstage, so many like, cameras. Uh, like um, over 23, and only like outside the runway, but you know, they put it like cameras everywhere. You don't even know where they come from. Do you get used to it ever? Uh, yes. I get used yes, to it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I remember I like, I remember I, during the whole day, only when we went to get ready, I was like, oh, there you've been. Where have you been? I haven't seen anyone because you're so like getting hair and makeup and there is Per, uh, the journalist after journalist after journalist, and but, uh, that part of the day is actually what gets me pumped up for the show. Actually, in the runaway, sometimes there are camera crews like walking like on the stage with us, and you don't get to see that. <laughs> but there is like cameras on the runaway, a person walking with us. And so then, when you watch it tonight, you'll kind of. No, you're not gonna things. see that. You're not gonna see the cameraman. <laughs> you're not gonna see it. Sorry. <laughs> no, but you'll see. You'll get to see maybe some things that you didn't. Yeah, were yeah maybe. In the, but in I remember. Maybe. I remember my first show, and I walked in. I'm like, what is this guy doing in front of me? He's in my show. What is he doing? <laughs> and then I got out, and it's like, oh, don't worry. That's just the guy trying to get close-ups and reactions. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, you've been walking for so many years, and uh, you know, you kind of, you're both vets now. I would say. Um, what do you remember as being some of the best advice you were each given before your first right. time? Mm -hmm, and on the flip one. side, what advice have you given maybe some of the newer models like Kendall and Gigi and Obella Hadid walked for the first time this year. So what have you gotten and what have you given? I remember my first show in rehearsal. I walked the first time and get out and Isabel Gallard came to me and she's like, take your time, don't rush because you're so nervous that you just like r like almost run down the runway. And she's like, you know what? This is your time. Take your time. I mean, don't get everyone laid in the back, but <laughs> <Just> take <laughs> your time at the front and really look at the cameras and flirt with the cameras and don't rush it. And that's the, that's the little trick I've been giving to some of my friends that walk for the first time this year. What about you, Adriana? Well, my first show, uh, well, uh, I don't have a lot of memories because you know why in 1999 I wasn't speaking English at all. So if someone I was like, uh, I don't understand. <laughs> no English. <laughs> That's maybe you got some advice, but uh, it just went and over smile. your head a little bit. <laughs> just like smile. Just Whatever smile. you do, just smile. Whatever they're telling you, just smile back. Smile back. <laughs> <laughs> and what about now Now that you're on the flip side? What kind of advice have you been giving people? Well, you know, again, uh, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, they uh, want to see individuality. And uh, for the girls, you got to have fun. And you have to show your own personality, really. And uh, get out there. It's nothing planned. And you just <laughs> enjoy your own way. If you want to dance in the runway, dance in the runway. If you see your friends want to say hello from there, go for it, okay. basically. How do you dance on the runway in those 
heels. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ginormous. You may see tonight. Oh, you may see some of that tonight. You just do you're it because see, you're having too much fun. You're going to see Adriana opening Secret Angel today, and your jaw is going to drop. What, what are she you She did thinking? it. We were all backstage. We're like, what? <laughs> Now that's how you open. <laughs> what do you think? What is running through your mind when you're when you have a giant pair of wings on and you have the heels on and you have a huge audience and they're all watching you and cheering you on? What is going through your mind in that moment? I definitely go with a don't fall. But this year I had for the first time on my first walk down the runway, my, the first people I saw in the audience was my parents. And I don't know why, as soon as I saw them, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna start crying. And I was like the rest of the running. <laughs> Smile, don't cry. Have your parents come every year? Yeah, it's they just missed the first one. Okay. But they came every other year. I know that um, I watched some videos about your journey to the runway, and I know that it was a few years that you went out for it and didn't get it, and then it was this big moment when you were brought on. Um, why do you think that for you, for both of you, and for so many models, getting the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show is like the ultimate milestone and game changer in your career? I'll think because of her. I mean, Maybe. I remember when I, <laughs> when, I, when I was discovered, I, I really didn't know anything about the fashion industry. And my agents was like trying to tell me like, I remember really we famous. did a photo shoot together. Oh Where were yes. there is? I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was like screaming inside. And I remember my agents was like, look at Adriana, look at Giselle. And the first thing you go on YouTube was the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. And I'm like, I want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we worked together for the first time. And I was like, Cry, like dying inside. I was like, can I take a picture? <laughs> and you've worked together on some other projects as well outside of Victoria's Secret, but what's kind of the difference between something like that and something like this? For me, uh, person, I love the brand itself. I love how uh, the brand is representing women and the positive message that they sent out there. And as being a public figure, we a lot of people follow your steps. So I do think about like uh, representing people that are positive and sending the right messages for the people in the other side. And um, basically, also that's one <laughs> one point. And also, you know, Victoria's Secret is always has known to use the best models, the best photographers, the best everything. So if you uh, are an angel, you know that you're, in your career, you just, it's a huge step and it's so many doors open in a career level yeah. like, in the world. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. like for me, I'm not as tall as the other girls and I've always wanted to do high fashion. I've always wanted to you're do... You're tall. What are you talking about? I think that... Uh, well, when you put it next to pretty those tall. girls, I took a picture with them backstage, and they're tall. They're taller no, than me. <laughs> a lot of things that have uh, gone through my mind in a picture sandwich between them. But, but you know, <laughs> but if it wasn't Victoria's Secret, and if it wasn't the um, like the the old doors that they opened for us, I would have not walked Fashion Week last season. I would have not done 19 shows. I would have never even. They would not even get me in the door. Right. But because of Victoria's Secret, they know who I am and they have a sense of who I am and what model I am. And they give me that opportunity to get at least in the door and meet them. Absolutely. Do you remember what the first kind of like game changer for you was after you started working with the brand? Well, I uh, <laughs> when I did my fa first fashion show in 1999, I thought, oh, my God, I never thought that I would be next to supermodels like Heidi Klum, Leticia Casta, mm -hmm. Tyra Banks, Stephanie Seymour. Yeah, they no were Lima. all there. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh no, my right. God, I was shaking. I remember I was so nervous. I'm still nervous this year. <laughs> Nothing changed. And I, it, it was huge for me. I, I really was, I was like in a dream. And until today, I feel like I'm living a dream. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. Um, you know, Going back a little bit to social media, I read a stat yesterday that said combined, the Victoria's Secret Angels have 164 million Instagram followers. I have like negative 0.2% of that many Instagram followers, so I don't even understand that number at all. Um, but you know, you have this huge reach and you're reaching young women and, and that's kind of completely changed the fashion industry 
and what it means to be an influencer. I know that, um, Adriana, you post a lot of photos and quotes about being a strong woman and feeling strong. What does being a strong woman mean to you? Embracing yourself and uh, knowing you, who you are. And a lot of people have their own opinions, which is okay. You can hear them, but um, don't forget ever where you come from and who you are. And uh, don't be afraid of taking risks. Uh, don't be afraid to um, making mistakes because we're all human. And, you know, I come from a long line of strong women, from my grandmother and great-grandmother. So I, I just follow. I follow everything that, they, uh, that it was thought for me back in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> I know, speaking of coming back home, I know you're from Portugal, and um, you've spoken a little bit about not a lot of models coming from Portugal. What is it like when you... And I don't know, if, I mean, I watched a YouTube video of Sarah like dominating a poker tournament recently. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, okay, what can't you do? Um, what is it like when you go home and what, what is that energy like? It's, it's very interesting because we live in the US, I live in, like, in New York and I can go to the street and no one really recognizes me. I might be recognized maybe one, two, two times a, a month. Uh, and then I go home and it's completely the opposite. I'm pretty much the only uh, model coming out of there and I'm constantly in the news everything I do if I post a picture of my dog it goes on <laughs> on like the gossip sites in Portugal so for me it's a, it's strange when I go home I don't really like I just want to stay with my family and mm -hmm. my brother and and my close friends from there and I don't really go out because it's like a big shock it's a big right it's all of a sudden you're like no one and then you go to Portugal and you feel like Madonna that's so interesting. And I, I mean, I don't think that that is necessarily the case for you, Adriana. I think, I think uh, you're probably recognized <laughs> you know, anywhere that you go. It's funny, actually, because, you know, usually when we uh, work and when we have appearances, we always obviously have, like, hair and makeup done. But when I'm home, I'm pretty much like, Ugh, I don't care. I just pick <laughs> whatever I put on. don't care about hair, makeup. So I go out and they look at you, and they're like, they're not sure. They're like, is it? Is it not? Is not? But that you look at her. How is she I always, I always they're feel like a sure. disappointment. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not in my lingerie and full of hair. Oh my I'm god! Sorry. I don't think anybody would be disappointed to run into either of you <laughs> on the street. What does your style, off-duty style, look like when you're not wearing, you know, giant wings and beautiful, expensive <laughs> lingerie? I'm always in sports clothes. I, I, because, you know, always, like, leggings and sports brought to everything sports and flip-flops. You don't or wear the wings, like, around the sneakers. house? Oh, I do, I do. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I go. I'll go to the supermarket and I'm wearing my wings. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I saw a picture of you wearing those. Sorry. <laughs> no. No, but I have, a, like, a very simple... I just like to be comfortable. I barely wear heels. Um, I wear jeans, a T-shirt, a jacket, and, like, good go. Yeah, <laughs> especially because you guys are traveling so much. I mean... Yeah. Just in the past few days, you were in Paris, you're here. Um, it's kind of, you're all over the place. So what, have you kind of become masters in, in, tra in travel style and, pa and packing and things like that? I think I'm becoming worse <laughs> with time, with packing. Oh my God, I packed for a month to Paris. Oh really? Oh no, yes. You over -packed. Paris is different, <laughs> okay? I did like I had like uh, usually I don't pack so much. Usually I always have a carry on. Mm -hmm. How many days clothes. were you actually there? Like <laughs> three, four days, I think. Like three, four days. Four. I could have stayed there I for like know. a year. Yeah, but, and I'm I sure. thought I was gonna take you a lot like, of. How many bags you had? I had one, and I thought it was like a huge one, and I thought it was gonna be too much. And then I start Whoa. seeing girls arriving with two, three luggage. And I'm like, I'm not the only one. <laughs> Well, it's, so, it's just so funny because you're there for four days and for at least one of those days, you already know what you're going to be wearing. So We need options. We're we need girls. options. We need options. A lot of shoes. I, I hear you. A lot, and you. I would need a suitcase just for shoes, probably. I actually once got shamed on the airport. Coming back from Fashion Week, I was like gone for a month and I had three big luggage and I was going through um, customs and they put me to a side. It was like, uh, where? how long are you away? And I'm like, a month. A month? And you have three luggage? What is this luggage? <laughs> shoes you have a luggage just for shoes yeah <laughs> it's fashion week <laughs> yeah no 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 this is a no judgment zone so i you can have as many suitcases filled with shoes as you want with me um thank you guys so much i think we're gonna open it up to some questions from the audience if anybody has any 
Um, how would you guys compare like the show being in Paris this year and also in London in previous years with like in the previous years being in the States, like the vibe and like your experiences and like the people and the crowd? Well, the city was um, amazing and the place that the show was filmed was really is special. Um, uh, to start with, we had in the audience, we had about per show a thousand people watching and that's huge. And then uh, the show, it runs for 45 minutes which is not, it's very long for a fashion show, but you know what, once you watch, it just go, it goes super fast. It yeah. feels like 10 minutes, really. Literally, you'll see it tonight. But I think I love Paris. It's one of my favorite cities in the whole world. I lived there for about nine months when I first started modeling, so it's um, a little like special place for me. But like I was saying, the first show we taped, I've never, in four years, not 16, <laughs> Adriana, but I've in four years, I've never felt uh, an audience like that. Oh, you know what? They, they, it's actually, they did stand up and they were dancing. Like, it was, it was amazing. That I never saw that. It did not happen that, for yeah. me in the New York show. They were dancing. I was, like, <laughs> trying. I was, you know, I was, like, grooving in my seat a little bit, but <laughs> I needed a dance partner. <laughs> <laughs> More than welcome. If you ever go again, just go dance yeah. and get everyone else to dance with you. Yeah. We love it because we feed off the energy and the runway, so... If you guys are just sitting, we're like, no, where's the applause? If you guys just <laughs> sit and don't have any, it doesn't show us anything, we're like, is anything, are we doing anything <laughs> wrong? I think we, we should do like a dance are off we in that here. Boring? <laughs> do I have anything on my teeth? I'm like, uh. We're going to dance off on the way out. So everybody's going to get involved a little bit. Um, we have another question from the audience. Here. Hi, I want to talk to Adriana. Hi, how are Hi. you? <laughs> So I just want to say to you that as a Brazilian, oi. I'm, very, oi, <laughs> I'm very proud of you, and I'm, it's always nice to see you and you know people from our country succeed and have, and, and becomes a very beautiful person and, and represents us very well. So congratulations to you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, you know, we have a lot of Brazilian models, in, in, you know, in the, in the industry, and especially in Victoria's Secret shows, a lot of Brazilian shows. Oh, that we were, uh, we did actually. We were like, where is all the Brazilian girls? You're dominating. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. like, oh, we adopt you. Come in. <laughs> so I just, I'm just curious to know if you guys get together and have like a Brazilian night or something, and if you can share with us any interesting or funny story that. If you guys do get together and do something funny, crazy. You know, now, like, we actually live in, everyone lives in a different city, so it's really tough for us uh, to meet unless we are working, like we were at the show. But I have to say this, I don't know if they're going to show on TV tonight, but we had a moment where, like, all the Brazilian girls were backstage together, and we are just, like... We were hugging each other, singing and yelling, Viva Brazil! <laughs> <laughs> like that. And then she came in and she, okay, come on in. <laughs> no, <laughs> we adopt you. And then uh, yeah. I gotta say, the Brazilian crew backstage has the most incredible energy. Even Adriana, like, everyone was like, it's her 16th show and it's like, it's her first. She has this energy and it's. Everyone just feeds off of her energy backstage, and it's pretty incredible how even 16 years later, you still think, you still act like it's your first show. I love it. It's from the heart. I really enjoy it. I really love it. Another question? Hello, my name is Michael. Nice Hi. to meet you guys. Um, I have a friend who is very, uh, who looks up to you girls, idolizes you girls as much as you possibly can idolize another human being. So. Uh, she's very scared and wants to pursue a career doing this. Was there any advice that you could possibly give her that would uh, May I ask how old is your friend? Not that matters, uh, but... Uh, well, she, um, she's 20 years old. Okay. That's a good, I think that's a good age to start. Uh, I s internationally, I started when I was about 19, and I could look at the industry in a, a lot, way different way as some 12 year or 13-year-old girl can. I think the most important thing is getting formed. Get informed who are the good agencies. Get informed how the industry works. And you know, and, and know that it's not gonna be easy. Not everyone gets discovered at McDonald's and a, a day later are opening Chanel. You know, like it took me like 
five years to even do a runway show. And some girls, it takes really fast, but it's going to take time. And, you know, it's normal. A lot of, not everyone is going to like you. Not about personality, but look. And you cannot let that, take it that personally. That's just part of the job. And you keep going. And, you know, one day someone will like you. And one day who did not like you will like you too. <laughs> I tell you that. Oh, trust me. I know. <laughs> and then you can be trust like, me. okay, now uh, look at me now. <laughs> uh, we have time for one more question. Hi. Hi. This question is for Adriana. I was wondering, because I do follow you on Instagram, and you do a lot of workouts, and you do live workouts. Are you ever planning on actually doing a workout DVD? And do you have any, like, you know... Um... Well, I, I, I have a few plans with the workout. I'm not sure how to start, though, even if, like, it's a DVD or maybe opening a gym that is in my own and or uh, application on the phone. But I would like, I definitely would like to share that with everyone because I'm really passionate about workouts. I just, I don't want to keep everything for myself. I want to oh, help. I worked out with Adriana in Paris. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh my God. I was fine until you got to the abs and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go eat. <laughs> she works out like, Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's all I can say. <laughs> well, it's a workout. Uh, okay, a lot of people forget. The word it says workout. You're not that for rest. I mean, it's a workout. You're there for sweat. <laughs> it's not a spa massage therapy. <laughs> That's right. I have to keep that in mind next time. I'm, I have to, like, haul my... I know, and I, to the and gym me in the thinking morning. I was going to go to the gym just to get a massage. I wish. That was be so sometimes much but nice I to go in the spa. I'm sorry. But there's sometimes people like really like reading. I'm like, how can you read at the gym? I know. It's, it's work. It is work. There I you mean, go. I need to sweat. We like, all yeah. need to sweat. I mean, I think you sweat plenty more than I do personally, but <laughs> we I all know, no, I, I can I work like out crazy. and... What? I sweat like crazy. Well, you post a lot of sweaty. The only reason I know is because you post a lot on Instagram about it. But yeah, no, no one sweats like me, I tell you. This. <laughs> it's so weird. And I look around and I'm like, why am the only one sweating this much? <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for being thank here. You. If you could just remind everybody um, when they can watch the show and where. Tonight, 10, 9 Central <laughs> on CBS. You guys are going to see us. Please watch. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys so much.